by the way, the main topic for today is propagating coleus. I had already before uh, a video on how to propagate coleus, uh, but it was the way where when you have it in a water of in a glass of water and then let it root first before planting it. But actually this time I will show you how easy it is to just plant it direct to, to your uh, pot or whatever whatever container you want to have and uh, this is one of those plums that will easily root easily e very easy to propagate and it's just like this when you have your colleagues normally it's kind of i will adjust it a little bit it's kind of like that it's this is already like leggy uh quite long colleagues this is a little like that and so as you see you can actually propagate from this so if you have a colleus like this already it's also good for them when you cut them it's because uh, the stem of the colleus will be bigger and then it will uh, grow more uh, branches on it uh, so what i do is just you just look at it and as you see i can actually cut it from here this one you can even just use your hand without a scissor it's okay and then you can just this in this one i can actually have two colleus in it, two colleus plant uh, that i can make in it so i can just cut it from here uh, here no here yeah here so so as you see i have already two of them like that and the reason why i like want it like this is because it can actually when it will grow it can actually grow somewhere here and then this part i can also actually do it so i can have a third one so this one will be like quite smaller and what you do with this is you just take some of the leaves you don't want to be planting when it's already a lot of leaves because it takes a lot of energy for the plant so you want to focus like the plant will uh, root more and grow much easier and faster so you take so it will be like that so it will be like a little plant this one but it's quite okay and and then you have this one too like that so you don't want to plant them that it's it it applies to all the plants you don't want to plant it that way there is a lot of leaves there that you have to take them out because they will take a lot of energy and you want to help the plant that it will actually grow much faster that is why you want to take out some of the very big leaves and like that and that one is enough it will grow and it will grow much faster and uh, so i have the one that's the second one and this is the third one so as you see with the third one here, I have this one like this. So what you do is just, I just take some of the leaves there, the very big ones and leave some of the small ones like this is enough. And so when it will grow this one, as you see, you have already something here that is growing and they will be growing and they grow fast, especially if you have it already uh, in in quite a warm place if you have it indoor just be sure that uh, the area you will have some um, sunlight in there and uh, and then usually when it's already summer around june july then i will be putting them outside it shouldn't be below 15 degrees uh, during because uh, here in sweden or some other parts that has a winter a season uh, you can have a 15 degrees at daytime but then the temperature can sometimes vary at night I and mean, it's not good so if you have still have a very you know uh, uh, variation of the weather uh, put your your tropical plants inside at nighttime when the weather goes down into uh, lesser than 15 degrees or 10 degrees because if you are exposing your plants in that kind of temperature then they will get destroyed 
So now we will continue. That is how to be cutting the colliers. Uh, and then I will be showing you too how to plant it directly into the soil. So now I will be showing you how to plant the colliers that we collected or we cut from the colliers plant that I have. Uh, one tip I will give is that uh, when you will be cutting uh, plants for propagation, it's very nice to collect them and have a glass of water and just put them in a glass of water. And sometimes if you're busy, you cannot plant it immediately. They can stay in the glass of water and they can even root if you just let them be there for even weeks or months. Uh, but of course, if you want to propagate them immediately, then you can also do it immediately. So I have showed you one that is a tiny branch and you don't have to throw it. You don't have to, to get uh, rid of it because you can actually plant it. And of course, if you will plant this very small uh, cutting, then use also a small uh, uh, plastic thing this is actually these things are actually recycled uh, I usually save different kinds of uh, boxes or you know made of plastic because you can actually use it for propagation you just make a hole as you see there there's a hole just make a hole and then uh, they are good for for propagation and it's just so simple you just have this one and just put it there push it a little bit and uh, that kind of like one centimeter should go down uh, and that is very important it's because you want them to root and then uh, like that and then one very simple tip when you plant in cuttings is that as much as possible you don't move them a lot that is very important and it's because it's like you are disturbing them and the rooting uh, the rooting will be affected so you have already one plant there and i will show you one that is uh, quite a bigger one and this is the one so as you see uh, I just leave like four big leaves there, but you know this uh, area here you can see that there are small ones on the way growing and they will actually grow. Uh, the thing with coleus or you call it mayana in the Philippines uh, is that uh, here in Sweden we call it uh, palet blood, palet blood. Uh, they are very easy to propagate uh, so what you do now is just this is the plant you just have your soil there and then just put it there and that's how easy it is and this is the kind of plants that really root uh, very fast they really a lot of people are really actually collecting here in sweden they are this this kind of cutting will cost you 30 kronor 30 swedish crowns and 30 swedish swedish crowns is already like uh, 30 uh, 100 is like 500 uh, 50 is 250 so it's already like uh, around 200 150 to 200 uh, uh, Philippine peso uh, so this is uh, very common here people are even selling in in the internet uh, and some are also selling that are already rooted because as what I said this is one of those plants that are very easy to propagate and you have already like that and one thing is that when you when you propagate cuttings uh, be sure not to expose it immediately in the sun because they cannot take it they cannot take it yet and uh, they can and even if you have uh, 
propagating if you have been propagating this kind of plants any cuttings at all and you propagate them indoor especially if you live in a cold country like now in sweden it's march it's still cold uh, it's kind of now it's negative four outside uh, you can never have tropical plants outside during this time it's because it's really very cold and if you put this one now then tonight tomorrow it, it will die uh, so sometimes when you came from a, a very warm country like me, I came from the Philippines, we take it for granted like, you know, you can just plant any time, any time of the year, you can just plant immediately outside. But even if you live in a warm tropical country, uh, when it's always like that, that when you propagate cuttings, always put them first in the area where it's warm but they are not exposed to direct sunlight because if you expose a new cutting planted in direct sunlight they will immediately get destroyed they don't they do all these leaves will be withered uh, so here in, the, in 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 european countries or even in somewhere in usa where they have a winter season you propagate plants indoor uh, because especially if you don't have a greenhouse uh, you propagate them indoor and in that time like a week two or even a month you know already that they have already rooted quite much then that would be the time that you will you can put them in uh, outside uh, but just be careful when you put them outside do not put them immediately there it's direct sunlight because they still can affect them so you just hide them a little bit somewhere on a big bush or, or somewhere else outside that you can hide them and then maybe after a week you can just expose them uh, in direct sunlight because coleus plant they love sun that is the first thing that gives them a lot of color so the color here now is like this but if this will be exposed on the summertime uh, you will really get much much beautiful color of the coleus plant they will really develop a kind of reddish hair and, and, and green and it will really create a lot of different colors it's so amazing uh, and in fact i have a video of it in my gardening playlist so again this is evelyn of liva Buhai, your information tv giving you information uh, on a lot of things variety of things uh, thank you so much for watching and see you again next time.